is a political race filled with accusations on both sides. Now the Civility Project checks the latest district attorney ad for mudslinging or a civil tone. New at 5, 10 reporter Melissa Masiha spoke to our panelists about the ad that's making a big push on the airwaves. There is it's an ad paid for by the campaign of Robert Brewer, Bonnie Dumanis' main challenger for district attorney. Bonnie Dumanis says she knew nothing about one of the biggest campaign finance schemes in city history. The ad focuses on illegal contributions to Dumanis' campaign by a foreign national. Political analysts Carl Luna and John Dadian are part of the Civility Project, rating the tone and fairness of political ads. The spot begins with a headline, What We Know About the Scandal, then... Makes claims which we don't necessarily know. Luna is calling this a guilt by association ad and questions its truth. Gritty voiceovers and harsh music, it's a classic attack ad. On the other hand, political analyst John Dadian said while the ad is tough, he believes it is true and fair. One of the main criteria that we look at to say is it true and is it fair is do they cite the sources and they do in this case. Both panelists pointed out the ad uses Dumanis' own words. There is nothing that suggests that I've done anything wrong whatsoever. But as far as whether the ad is civil. This ad for district attorney is a fairly disappointing ad in, in, in my view because it is fairly uncivil. It's an attack ad. Dadian says it's close. It grows up to the line still being civil but very hard hitting. Uh, overall, as far as the aesthetics, it's a very powerful ad. After grading the ad's truth, relevance, and fairness, the overall grade for this 30-second spot was a C+. I'm Melissa Masiha, 10 News. Recently, a formal ethics complaint has been filed with the state by a Brewer supporter. It says that Dumanis failed to report free meals from various organizations at different functions. Dumanis' spokesperson said that she attended numerous civic and charity events legally as district attorney.